Hi, this is Dan from DIY Domination. Have you ever been stuck with a flat tire and didn't know what to do? We've all been there and it's definitely not a fun place to be. That's why today we're going to walk you through the process of changing a tire step by step. We'll be covering everything from the tools you'll need like a spare tire, jack, and lug wrench to tips on doing it safely. After all, this is a skill that can truly be a lifesaver. Ready to become a tire changing expert? Let's dive in. Hey, before moving on, if you want to see more videos with great DIY automotive advice, make sure to, to click the subscribe button and become part of the DIY domination community today. Okay, so first find a safe location to park your car. Safety is paramount when dealing with a flat tire. Ideally, you want to be on flat level ground away from heavy traffic. Once you've found that perfect spot, engage your parking brake and turn on your hazard lights. This will signal to other drivers that you're experiencing car trouble and they should give you plenty of space. Next, it's time to gather your tools. You'll need a spare tire, which is typically stowed away in your trunk. A jack and lug wrench are essential for lifting the car and removing the tire. Your vehicle's owner's manual will provide specific instructions for your car model, so keep that handy. Wheel chocks can prevent your car from rolling while you work, and if it's dark, a flashlight will be your best friend. Lastly, don't forget a pair of gloves to protect your hands. Now that we're all set, it's time to get our hands dirty. Start by consulting your vehicle's owner's manual. This trusty guide is packed with crucial information that's specific to your car. It will tell you exactly where the jack points are. These are the spots where the jack needs to be placed. Typically, these points are near the wheel wells or along the car's frame, but remember, every vehicle is different, so it's always best to double check. Next, it's time for the wheel chocks. These handy tools can be a lifesaver, or more accurately, a car saver. They prevent your car from rolling while you're working on it. You'll want to place them behind or in front of the wheel that's diagonally opposite the flat tire. For example, if you're changing the front right tire, you'll place the chocks at the rear left wheel. Now let's move on to the lug nuts. These small pieces of metal hold your wheel in place and we need to loosen them before we can remove the tire. Grab your lug wrench. That's the tool that looks a bit like a cross. Fit the correct end of the wrench over a lug nut. Turn the wrench counterclockwise. Remember Lefty Lucy, you'll want to apply a good amount of force here but be careful not to strip the lug nut. You're not trying to remove the lug nuts at this point, just loosen them. This is because it's safer and easier to do this while the tire is still on the ground. If you try to loosen the lug nuts when the car is jacked up you might unbalance the vehicle and that's a risk we don't want to take. Once all the lug nuts are loosened, take a moment to double check your work. It's always better to be safe than sorry. With the lug nuts loosened, we're ready for the next step. The process may seem a bit daunting at first, but remember every expert was once a beginner. You're doing great, so keep going and soon you'll be back on the road in no time. Now it's time to position the jack and lift the vehicle. The jack's placement is crucial for your safety and your vehicle's well-being. Locate the correct jack points as indicated in your owner's manual. Typically these points are near the wheel wells or along the car's frame. Once you've found the right spot, place the jack securely. Next comes the lifting part. This step requires patience and careful handling. Slowly and steadily start cranking the jack handle. As you turn the handle, you'll see the vehicle starting to rise from the ground. It's like magic, isn't it? Ensure that you lift the vehicle high enough to provide ample space for the spare tire to fit. But remember, safety first. Never put any part of your body under the vehicle while it's raised. Also, before you proceed to the next step, check if the car is stable on the jack. With the car lifted, we can now remove the flat tire. Let's remove that flat tire and get your car back on the road. First things first, you'll need to completely unscrew and remove the loosened lug nuts. Remember, we only slightly loosened them earlier, so they should come off with relative ease. Once you've removed the lug nuts, Carefully take off the flat tire. Be careful not to lose your balance, as the tire may be heavier than you expect. With your flat tire removed, set it aside in a safe place. You don't want it rolling away or becoming a tripping hazard. Now you have a clear view of the wheel hub. This is where your spare tire is going to fit. Next, take your spare tire. This tire, usually a bit smaller and lighter than your regular tires, should be located in your trunk. Place the spare tire onto the wheel hub. You'll notice the holes on the rim of the spare tire. These need to align with the wheel studs on the wheel hub. Be patient. It might take a few tries to get this alignment just right. Once the spare tire is sitting flush against the wheel hub, it's time to get those lug nuts back in action. 
thread the lug nuts onto the wheel studs by hand. This is important to prevent cross-threading which could damage your wheel studs. Tighten them as much as possible without using your lug wrench. Now, you might be tempted to get that lug wrench out and tighten those nuts as much as you can, but hold off for just a moment longer. We're going to lower the car first. The weight of the car will help ensure the spare tire is properly seated against the wheel hub. With the spare tire in place, we're ready to lower the vehicle. And there you have it. Your flat tire has been replaced with your spare. Remember, the spare is a temporary solution. You'll want to get to a tire shop as soon as you can to either repair or replace the flat tire. Now, we're going to lower the vehicle and make sure everything is secure. As we move into this final phase, let's begin by carefully lowering the vehicle. You'll want to steadily crank the jack handle in the opposite direction, allowing the car to descend slowly back to the ground. Remember, safety is key, so be sure it's on stable ground and not still resting on the jack. Once the car is firmly on the ground, it's time to secure the spare tire. Start by tightening the lug nuts using your lug wrench. An interesting tip here is to tighten them in a star or cross pattern. This ensures even pressure on the spare tire and helps avoid any potential wobbling. Your owner's manual should provide the recommended torque specification so don't forget to refer to that. Now don't rush off just yet. It's important to double check each lug nut to ensure they're all secure. It's easy to overlook this step in your eagerness to finish, but it's a crucial part of ensuring your safety on the road. Next up, let's not forget about stowing the flat tire in your tools. Your trunk is the best place for these. The flat tire can be repaired or replaced at a nearby tire shop, so be sure to take care of that as soon as possible. Remember, the spare tire is just a temporary solution and isn't meant for extended use. Finally, it's time to hit the road, but remember to drive cautiously. The spare tire is not designed for high speeds or long distances, so keep it slow and steady until you can get your flat tire replaced or repaired. Now take a deep breath and give yourself a pat on the back. You've just changed a tire all by yourself. It's a valuable skill to have and you never know when you might need it again. And there you have it. You've successfully changed a tire. But remember, this is a temporary fix. Your spare tire is not designed for long trips or high speeds. It's simply a bridge to get you to a professional. So after you've successfully changed your tire, it's time to get back on the road. But do so cautiously and make your way to the nearest tire shop. Why the tire shop, you ask? Well, You've done an excellent job changing your tire, but it's always good to let the professionals have a look. They can repair or replace your flat tire and ensure that your spare is properly restowed. Besides, they have the right tools to check everything is as it should be, giving you peace of mind for your future journeys. Let's not forget the importance of safety in all this. While changing a tire is a handy skill to have, it's critical to carry out each step carefully and safely. Always consult your vehicle's owner's manual for specific instructions related to your car model. And if you're ever unsure about any step of the process, it's better to ask for help than risk an accident. So there you have it, a step-by-step -step guide to changing a tire. Don't let a flat tire ruin your day. With this new skill, you can take control of the situation and get back on the road in no time. Congratulations on learning a valuable new skill, safe travels. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to also watch these videos for more DIY automotive tips and tricks.